Calculate the number of revolution a bicycle wheel with radius 35 centimeters will make in order to cover a distance of 330 meters. Take pi as 22 divided by 7. The wheel of a bicycle is circular. So let's assume that this is the wheel of the bicycle. The question tells us that the wheel of the bicycle has a radius of 35 centimeters. So it means that a line drawn from the center of the wheel to a point on the circumference will be 35 centimeters. The question says that this wheel of the bicycle has a radius of 35 centimeters. It wants us to calculate the number of revolutions that the wheel will have to make in order to cover a distance of 330 meters. The wheel of the bicycle will complete one revolution when it rolls over and returns to its original position. Now, this is what I mean. Let's assume that this part of the bicycle, this part of the wheel is on the ground. If it rolls uh, over and returns to its original position, it is said to have completed one revolution. So if this part of the wheel is on the ground and it rolls over and returns to its original position, it is said to have completed one revolution. As you can clearly see, when the wheel of the bicycle completes one revolution, it will cover the total distance around the wheel, which is the circumference. So when it completes one revolution, the total distance that will be covered by the wheel will be the same as the circumference of the wheel. We know that the circumference of a circle can be found by using the formula 2 pi r, where r is the radius of the circle. So using this formula, we can get the total distance that will be covered by the wheel of the bicycle when it completes one revolution. We have the radius as 35 centimeters, so we can easily substitute it here. Pi was given to us as 22 divided by 7. So the circumference will be equal to 2 times 22 divided by 7 times 35 centimeters, and this is equal to 220 centimeters. This means that when the wheel of the bicycle completes one revolution, it covers a distance of 220 centimeters. Now, the question wants us to find the number of revolutions the wheel of the bicycle will have to make in order to cover a total distance of 330 meters. To get this, we will have to divide the 330 meters by the circumference of the circle which is 220 centimeters that will give us the number of revolutions that the wheel of the bicycle will have to make in order to cover a distance of 330 meters but we can't divide 330 meters by 220 centimeters because the units of measurements are not the same the unit we have here is in meters the unit we have here is in centimeters so we have to make sure that they are both the same. So what I'll do is that I'll convert the 330 meters here to centimeters. You can also de decide to convert the 220 centimeters here to meters so that you can divide them. It will be the same thing. But in this video, I'm going to convert the 330 meters here to centimeters. To do that, we need the rate of conversion between meters and centimeters. We know that one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So if one meter is equal to 100 centimeters, obviously 300 meters will give us more. And if more, let's divide. And so we will have 330 meters divided by one meter, which is less, times 100 centimeters. And this will give us 33,000 centimeters. So after converting 330 meters to centimeters, we are having 33,000 centimeters. As I said, in order to get the number of revolutions needed by the wheel of the bicycle to complete a distance of 330 meters, we will have to divide the 330 meters by the circumference of the circle, which is 220 centimeters. 
we have converted the 330 meters to centimeters and we are having 33,000 centimeters. So the number of revolutions required will be equal to the 330 meters, which is now 33,000 centimeters, divided by 220 centimeters, which is the circumference of the wheel. And this will give us 150. This means that the wheel of the bicycle, which has a radius of 35 centimeters, will have to go through 150 revolutions in order to cover a distance of 330 meters.